can't now actually look like the Indian helped us with this headset on. <laughs> but hi guys, this is Defined, or some of you will know me as Naraya. Um, I've come up with this video because some of you guys have asked me for this information, which is basically fundamentals about uh, demonic oppression, uh, how to get rid of it, how does it come through. Uh, that's all what this video is going to be talking about. Uh, I would have just used only my own experiences and stuff like that. But I know that some of you will come up with, oh, you're delusional, you have this mental illness, da, 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 and I don't want to hear it. So I put together using information that I found on TikTok, other people's experiences, and so that you guys know it's not just me and I'm not crazy. It took a long while to figure that out. So here we go. Demonic oppression and how to get free. Like I've said before, spirits are everywhere. Angels, demons, ghosts, elementals, and principalities, etc. And then here he quotes Ephesians 6.12, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil. Okay, over my life, I have learned that many of the lower ranking demons are typically embodiments of a certain sin, action, or emotion. For example, many spirits I commonly see are spirits of judgment, alcoholism, depression, anxiety, unrighteousness, ex anger, etc. Now, these spirits are like species. By that I mean there are many of the same kind. I will use the spirit of depression as an example. I have seen spirits of depression attached to many different people in every country I've ever been to. Okay, just like I, if I see a golden retriever in Mexico, I can tell it's a golden retriever because of how it looks and acts, but obviously it's not the same golden retriever I saw in Japan. The same goes for spirits. All spirits of depression that I have seen look roughly the same, but vary in height or size. It looks like a stereotypical gargoyle with a sharp beak, like snout, stalk key but muscular physique, uh, physique uh, glowing red eyes, stone gray skin, and bat wings. Whenever I see them, they're usually standing behind a person with both hands on the human person. Ugh. Wow, that's a lot. If you google demon of depression, one of the first images that pops up is exactly this. I would also like to clarify just because you're depressed does not mean that you have a spirit of depression attached to you. I have known and helped many people that are depressed that did not have a spirit of depression attached to them and I have known and helped many people that are depressed and have it. Wow, okay. Not a doctor or a therapist. And I'm by no means saying that depression is or isn't caused by a demon. I'm simply telling you what I've seen or experienced. Cool. To understand more, I un you need to understand how these spirits operate. Think of demons as supernatural parasites. They're flying around everywhere looking for a host. Demons, to of course, on. torment Christians and non Christians alike, you know, in their minds and their bodies due to various legal entry points that we do, or they can also be opened in our bloodline from our, those above us, like our parents, grandparents, and great grandparents, and so forth. So demons obviously cannot just simply jump into someone's body and torment them for no reason. They have anyone that has a lot of anger and bitterness that will allow demonic spirits to come in and to hurt them. Uh, people that control other people, that manipulate other people, you know, they're going to have a lot of demonic spirits. Uh, any object that has been cursed, oftentimes people that are into witchcraft will curse objects and then give them to people, like jewelry, um, like books, like food, like clothing, and then that will affect that person. Uh, there could be buildings, your house, your property that's been cursed. Of course, if you curse, if you have foul language, that allows demonic spirits to torment. Uh, direct willful sin, such as abortion, adultery, fornication, homosexuality, criminal, deviant activity, murder, those will allow, of course, demonic spirits. Um, false, evil religions, new age, you know, Hinduism, Muslim, uh, fears that you have, of course, that's one of the main entry points. Uh, when a child is, is scared when they're growing up, then that fear will allow uh, demonic spirits to attack them. It's actually called Apollyon, is the name of the fear demon. Uh, of course, generational sin, curses, if you harbor any offense against anyone, that's why it's important to forgive. Uh, jealousy, envy, lust, lying, occult practices such as Ouija board seances, yoga, if you do. The research on yoga it comes from where there's millions of gods you know, over in India. The Kundalini spirit is one of them. It, of course, New Age, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Tarot Cards, Pokemon, Harry Potter books, all allow demonic spirits to attack. Uh, pride, secret societies like Freemasons, Scottish Rite, Shriners, um, Eastern Star, KKK. Sexual sins, so fantasizing, incubus, succubus, demonic spirits, uh, being molested, raped, incest, pornography, masturbation, homosexuality, sex with anyone other than your spouse. Um, and then, of course, traumas and violence, being ungodly soul ties, of course, unforgiveness. Um, if you have a victim mentality, any type of witchcraft and wicca. So, uh, this is all included in my book, Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. That's available on Amazon in paperback, Kindle, and Audible. It's also now available in Spanish. So, it doesn't matter what age you are here. This girl is literally in high school. She just graduated. And in this video... Um, it's a seven-year-old, so it doesn't matter what age you are, depending on the sin or whatever, it could be generational, that it could come through. Now, I came across this video, okay, about like the different ways that they attach themselves to us, and it was so weird because I started seeing glitches, so I asked my best friend if she saw the same glitches, and she was like, no, she doesn't, and this is what, how it looked like, so I downloaded the video. 
and I was like, okay, so I downloaded the video. So there's no glitches. Phoenix, and I can see the spirit realm. So through my experiences with the hundreds of people that I've helped get free from demonic oppression and in my own life, God has shown a person that these demons can attack. Okay, switching over to TikTok. Did you know there's eight different aspects of a human being that demons can attach to? What's up? My name is Phoenix and I can see the spirit realm. So through my experiences with the hundreds of people that I've helped get free from demonic oppression and in my own life, God has shown and taught me that there's actually eight different aspects of a person that these demons can attach to. So these different aspects, it's gonna be your mind, body, heart, soul, spirit. So these different aspects, it's gonna be your mind, body, heart, soul, spirit, life, essence, and your shadow. So there's been several times in my life when I was casting this demon out of someone else or myself when it would not leave. I would be praying and rebuking stuff and I felt like it was all gone, but it still felt like there was something there, but I wasn't seeing it. So I remember like I would ask God and in different situations, you'd be like, you need to rebuke it from your heart or you need to rebuke it from your mind or you need to rebuke it from all these other different aspects. He, I, the only thing that it, it has to be demonic interference. I know it probably sounds cheesy and stuff, but you guys have to realize like this spiritual warfare is real. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that this is the first time this has happened to one of my TikTok videos. Me too. But also not because this is one of the first times that I'm really exposing something that I think the majority of people don't know about. I've never heard another Christian that. or any kind of person that does deliverance or anything, even witchy or occultic, that talk about these different aspects of a being. That I've heard about attach. essence, but... And I know for a fact that they don't like it. But honestly, you should take this as confirmation that you are not crazy and that you... Some of your problems in your life are probably not from you and could be being caused from these demons. With that being said, in answer to this, just plead the blood of Jesus Christ over everything. I will say too, with technology, it is extremely easy for spirits of any kind, angels, demons, whatever, to affect or disrupt technology. I think it's because they kind of exist on the same wavelength energetically. So it's very easy for them to go in and just like cause like little disruptions like that or like the glitches that you guys are seeing so anyway spirits of depression feed on your depressive thoughts emotions and energy they are drawn to it like shark to blood let's say one day you're in a depressive funk things just haven't been going well and you're depressed and at the same time a demon of depression just happens to be chilling nearby looking for its next meal it senses your depressed thoughts and emotions and energies and is drawn to it so it comes to you Okay, it then attaches itself to you and enhances your depression. It gives you more depressed thoughts and enhances your depressed mood for all its depraved appetite. After so long of giving you those depressed thoughts, the demons bond to you get stronger and stronger, making it larger and more powerful, all while keeping you more and more depressed. Many Christians will say, but I'm a follower of God. I have the Holy Spirit in me and I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. He's forgiven my sins. Demons can't oppress me. Looking at you. Salvation is free, but deliverance comes with a, at a cost. As believers in Christ, we are saved eternally, but that does not stop the enemy from attacking us while we're still alive on earth. The spirit realm is incredibly legalistic. Demons and evil spirits are like evil lawyers, looking for every loophole possible. If you are a born-again Christian and have a spirit of depression attached to you and rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ, it will leave for a while. But that same spirit will say, well, you asked Jesus to forgive you at, of, of all your sins, but you didn't technically ask him to forgive you for your depressed thoughts. So legally, I still have a right to you. <laughs> These depressed thoughts are not from God. He says that those who mourn are blessed, but we are not to dwell in mourning. Sometimes our thoughts are not our own and are placed in our mind by the deceiving spirits. They want us to be uh, uh, depressed and sin and have horrible lives. Oh, if you ever feel that you can't control your thoughts or emotions, then you are probably dealing with demonic attachments. I am not special. I can see the spirits better than most, but everyone has the ability to at least sense them and cast them out. If you pray and ask God to reveal to you any spirit, entity, deity, and being that is influencing, affecting, or oppressing any part or aspect of your mind body heart soul spirit life or essence in the past present or future to be revealed god will reveal it to you okay many people get scared to do this and if there are demons attached to you they're going to get mad and try to scare you but that is all they can do they are all bark and no bite the only power they have over you is what you give them jesus died for us so that we no longer have to be slaves to our sin he paid our debts for us and through accepting him 
as our personal Lord and Savior, we have legal authority over these beings. We just have to claim it. To close any openings they have in your life, you need to repent and ask God to forgive you of any sin that you can think of. The more specific, the better. If you are unsure of what it is that is keeping the demonic attachments, ask God to reveal it to you. He will because he wants to help you be free. I know this is a lot, but this is the whole reason I created my company, Arise. Spiritual warfare has been one-sided for so long, and it's time for us to become more aware of our enemy and their tactics and fight back. We all have power through Jesus Christ. They flee at his name. There are some people, the enemy would send me to attack, and I would see them surrounded with a wall of fire. Those are the people who don't play, they pray. Which is, this is the great news, because like, as Christians, we have the authority, but sometimes we're not even using that authority or figuring out how the devil works. He comes to delay, steal, and destroy. And if you're smart enough to not just identify what the problems are, but also claim authority over it, not that life is going to be easier, it's simpler. If you like this YouTube video, comment whatever you feel like. If you've experienced something similar, uh, a testimony of sorts about deliverance or anything like that, that would be awesome to let other viewers know like, hey, this is, you, they're not alone. Leaving a like and engaging with this video would actually help reach with, for people who actually need it. Um, but yeah, so have a great day. God bless you. And I hope that with this information, you will live your life better.